Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano back here again. Oh, almost dropped my pick. And I wasn't going to make this video. I was all packed up. I uh, thought that last drum video would be the last one to do from here. And I'm going through my emails because I'm trying to cleanse. I'm trying to go to a new place with a fresh start. You know what I'm talking about. And I get this email from Tate Johnson that says, Request for a live reaction of a late band. Like, late band. And he goes, Hello, love your reactions and breakdowns. Very entertaining. I don't know if you take requests, but there's a band named Hers. Many regard the two as geniuses. Unfortunately, on March 27th, 2019, a drunk driver hit them at high speeds, causing their death. The community is quite small, but I know everyone would really appreciate their names to still be relevant. I hope you truly consider reacting to one of their live performances. Tate Johnson. Dude, uh... You know, you've all heard it before. The, 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 the price for love is grief, right? Or something like that. Um, these tragic things happen, man. And it's terrible. And I've never heard this band before. Um, I don't know any of their songs. I just went on YouTube and clicked the one that had the highest view count that was live. Uh, it's it's what, what once was... Here, Pace Studios in New York. <laughs> Look at these two. And um, and uh, anything I can do in my own little way to help someone's name continue to ring out and spread, I can tell just by looking at them, joy, uh, the joy of music, uh, is absolutely my pleasure. So Tate, thank you for sending this to me. And let's do it. Let's dive in. Let's see what we get. I'm not ready yet. I totally dig the Rickenbacker playing bass players whole vibe. Uh, dude is <laughs> dude is having a great time. I love that it's all the way up here. Um, I dig it. Uh, harmonically, what, well, first of all, his voice did not see that one coming. It's like a weird Leonard Cohen ish thing. Um, harmonically, uh, what's happening is we are in the neighborhood of A-flat, and here's what you get. You get three bass notes. You get your root, or your tonic, and we think of it, up to the fifth, two. And then if you listen to the quality of each one, they're all three minor. So you got A-flat minor, right? E-flat minor, B-flat minor, and so you think to yourself, okay, I have three minor chords. I have two of them a whole step apart, A flat and B flat. Where does that happen in diatonic music? The two and the three chord. Remember, one, four, five are major, two, three, six are minor. And let's see if it's in key. If we also get this two and three, then that means E flat would also be our minor chord. So six, seven, root, right? So our root, our key center is really F sharp major. So this is a, this is an A flat, Dorian progression. The, the tonal center, the home base is a two chord. 
And now he's got a capo on the second fret. So he's doing some type of embellishment, like. Right? But what he's doing here is he's arpeggiating these little changes, closest moves, right? So this little piece here, little piece of E flat minor, and then this little piece of B flat minor seven, and same thing here with A flat. Now this isn't note for note. Hopefully you guys aren't new to this channel, but if you are, I'm just getting the broad strokes of what makes the tune what it is. I try not to start and stop too much, but I want to give you a little something to take home. Here we go. Very cool things that happen in there. All right, so we go to B, B major. So this is now the four chord of our tonic center, which is F sharp, right? So four down to one, right? Six, E flat, I gotta make sure I'm in screen here. Let's do it again. So four or here, down to one, F sharp. Four, five, six, E flat. And then he goes down to the one again uh, no, sorry, go to the two, to the two, and this time makes it five. First time you see that dominant seven, that sharp pull. Five wants to go to one, but then resolves it. Two, the A flat, uh, Dorian minor seven chord. Very cool sound. You know, the bass player cut out there when he was going to do the harmony and looked right at him. He knew it was going to make it harder on him. Anybody that sings knows that uh, the bass tone, more than anything, is what really helps you calibrate when you're performing on stage, right? It's, it's what you feel viscerally. And I don't know why they did it on purpose, but with his, with his grin, it makes me think, I mean, look at it. It makes me think he did it on purpose. Watch this. And he comes in a little flat. Listen.
Tyler gives it to him. The sense of humor is just, it just is pervasive. It, it, it just oozes sense of humor. I, I don't know if he meant to come out with the bass during that falsetto part, but I hope he did, and I hope he did to screw with his friend because that was a magical moment. I loved that. It's so hard to watch this uh, and not think about... Um, that they're not with us anymore. Again, I didn't know who this band was. I, you know, I, I didn't, I, you know, experience their loss like a lot of you watching this did. Um, but I sincerely appreciate. What was your name again? Tate. Tate. I sincerely appreciate you sending this to me, and uh, letting me uh, have the privilege of doing my own little part here to make sure that. Uh, their name continues to ring on, and people that haven't found them yet are now finding them. So very cool. I totally dug it. I, you know, I dig all things Dorian, especially when they go back to the relative major like that. You know, usually when you have relative major and minor, it's little relative major and minor, like one, six, one, six. But going it from the from the two, so Dorian progression to Ionian, right? But keeping it in that same thing, I think that's very very cool. Um, and they're just having fun. That's really the biggest thing. They're just having fun. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Please drop links in the comments for things you'd like to see me do next. Any artists that you think, like hers, that people don't know about but should. And thank you all that have taken the extra step to not only support this channel, but allow me to be your online teacher. If you'd like to do so, I'd invite you to click the first link in the description and join me over at my website, GuitarGate. Get all my lessons, all my courses, and as a big thank you, there is a page dedicated to React requests, which I do a couple of weeks just from that page for paying subscribers. That's it, that's my little pitch, and uh, this was hers, what once was from Pay Studios. Tate, thanks again, have a good one, cheers.